Hi friends, in this tutorial we will be dealing with the elongation of a prismatic bar. So what is a prismatic bar? A prismatic bar is a bar having the same width or the same cross-sectional area throughout its length. This is called the prismatic bar like this. Mm, they, this has the same area throughout the length. This has the same diameter throughout the length. This all are prismatic bars. So now we will look into what happens when this is a prismatic bar. This is a prismatic bar having length L, total length of L is applied by a force P. What happens when P is applied on a prismatic bar? So, we have seen that when force is applied, there will be elongation in the structure. Well, there will be elongation in the member and the elongation is somewhat like this. Somewhat like this. There will be an elongation. So, how we are applying the force? It is not an impact force. The P is applied gradually. That is, this elongation is delta L or delta. This elongation is delta. This elongation is delta. When this uh, delta is achieved, how the delta is achieved? First, there will be no force, zero force. Then, then the, the force is gradually increasing. This is the delta. This is P. The force is gradually increasing. First zero, then gradually it is increasing. And it reaches the value of delta. When it reaches, the force reaches the value of P. Okay, so... There is a gradual increase in the force P to achieve the delta. So, we have to find out what is that value delta in terms of P. Okay. So, this is, uh, this is with an area, the prismatic area. If you consider this section XX, the area of the bar is equal to, area is equal to, constant that is a let's take it as a area is a okay now we have the force applied force is equal to p this is also constant the force p is constant uh, why we are saying this is constant we have to find out the final deformation not the instant deformation so there is a gradual increase in the force value so what is the value of delta after the full force is achieved that is full p so we take p as constant though so then at p the deformation will be in delta so now we assume that it is within the elastic limit and this is a very important assumption then only this equation will be valid. So what happens? So we have the Young's modulus E is equal to it is constant within the proportionality limit that is E is equal to stress sigma divided by epsilon where sigma is the stress, epsilon is strain. So, what is sigma? Sigma is, is equal to force divided by area, P by area. What is epsilon? Epsilon is equal to deformation in the body divided by the original length, delta divided by L. So, put this in the first equation. This is the first equation. The first equation will become E is equal to P by A whole divided by delta by L. This again is equal to P by A into L by delta. So, P L by A delta. So, now E is equal to P L by A delta. We have to find out 
the deformation delta is equal to PL by AE. So, this the basic equation of deformation of a prismatic bar of length L when it is applied by a force P and the force P is applied gradually. Okay. So, now we have seen that the force is applied gradually and this is force or a deformation. Deformation. This is force. Now we seen that the force the force is applied gradually from zero like this and at every uh, corresponding force there will be a deformation and it reaches finally a force of F it reaches a finally a force of F this here and it has having a deformation of delta okay so this is the deformation and this is the force so deformation when this is the bar from 0 to p it is applied by a force p and p deformation is delta so what we can see when it is gradually applied so there will be a energy force it, uh, how can we say that when you remove if this is an elastic body when you remove this this will return to its position so when you remove it it cannot return without any energy so some energy has to be stored by um, by uh, deforming to uh, uh, another shape okay so by applying a force of p it 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 stores some energy and that energy is called strain energy so now we have to find out what is that strain energy okay so over here you have the force is gradually applied and f is reached and the corresponding deformation is delta okay so what is the the strain energy stored strain energy stored can be taken simply as the area within area between the force and the deformation so this is the area between the force and deformation so the area of f and d can be uh, the the area between the force and deformation curve is taken as the energy stored the so energy stored is equal to energy energy stored is equal to half into p into delta sorry it is not f it is p when p is reached delta is formed so half p into delta and so half into p into what is this delta value delta value we found out it has p l by a e so the energy stored can be taken as strain energy stored and can be taken as p square l by 2 a e so this is energy stored energy so this is also very important equation so we have two values here or two important equations here Delta is equal to PL by A E for a prismatic bar having length L and E modulus of elasticity E in a prismatic area of A. It is applied gradually by a force P and at the end of the application of the force, the deformation is PL by A E. It is a prismatic bar. So, uh, why it is important? Then this equation is used for calculation of the deformation with um, varying dimensions of um area okay so varying dimensions we use this equation and then integrate okay so we will deal in the next tutorials okay so uh, next we have energy equation energy stored is equal to p square l by 2 a e so these are the two most important equations so hope you guys clear the equations and if you like the video please share and subscribe the channel for more videos and we will be coming with more videos okay thank you